approach them, do you really need? Let's see what the research says. You don't need a gym to get in the best shape of your life. Welcome to part one of my five-part nutrition series. I'll cover all of the macronutrients and micronutrients. Then this one, we're doing just protein. Stay tuned. I'm going to break down this video into three parts. The daily recommended value, the uses of protein in the body, and finally, good sources of protein for whatever your diet consists of. Daily protein requirements vary along with the recommendations. You'll hear one thing from one source and another from a different source. So what do you do? You listen to the experts is what you do. So... According to the ISSA Fitness Handbook for Personal Trainers, and I quote here from Dr. Fred Hanfield and K. Dr. Quant that the recommended minimum protein intake Boys and to be generally healthy adults is only 0 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram of body mass. But also according to Dr. Squat, one of these recommendations may be adequate for protein turnover requirements, research has suggested that higher amounts of protein in the diet may be vital. What does the government say for the recommended daily value? They don't have your bank, I don't think. They only want you to have 50 grams of protein. That's not even enough for daily protein turnover. Speaking from personal experience here, back by is several studies, including one by Jose Antonio and all his 2015 and Jim Strobani, PhD. I aim for around 1.5 grams protein per pound body weight. It keeps me feeling fuller, longer. I'm safe in doing this because according to Dr. Hadfield, um, one of those 0 0.8 grams per pound body weight may be adequate for and I quote here, uh, and protein turnover within reason, higher protein intakes appear to have no negative consequences. 
So what does Putin do, you ask? Well, as the name suggests, is a prime important protein. So it is responsible for the structure of every cell in all of the machinery. And then, of course, it builds muscle, but there's more than that. It's also involved in a hormone and enzyme production. You want those hormones and enzymes, but when you thought hormones were fat, well, it's, uh, the sterols are, but uh, a lot of hormones are peptide protein based. Proteins also are responsible for building antibodies and bolstering your immune system. So get those proteins in. Uh, some good sources are for seafood, of course salmon and tuna, also swordfish and halibut, and clams, shrimp, mussels, and then for animal meats, the beef, of course, and pork. And pork is probably the lowest quality, though. Chicken, turkey, and lamb, bison, if you want those exotic meats. And for plant sources, beans, nuts, lentils, tofu, and mame. And the mommy I hear is really good choice of it. And then seeds, of course. And of course, there's protein powder, whey or casein protein powder. If you got value out of this, go ahead and click on that like button. Go ahead and subscribe to be notified and click the little bell and you'll be notified whenever I post a new video.